These are an unfair improvement over normal running shoes. Whoa! Yeah! Inside of these boxes, I have the two shoes that are the greatest innovation in Nike running that they've ever done. Have you heard about the two hour marathon? Because Nike was able to have one of their runners train, work on research and development on these shoes for years and years, and then run and actually break the two hour marathon, which a lot of people didn't think was humanly possible. This is the shoe that they first tried to break the two hour marathon in, and they missed it by like a minute or two. It was so dang close. This is the Vaporfly, and what's cool is that when Lincoln designed his own shoe three years ago, they actually let us see these in the top secret R&D lab, and they told us that inside of here is a carbon fiber plate, which makes it really hard to actually bend because there's a carbon fiber plate, which should help you get propelled on every step and go a little faster, kind of like a spring. It got really controversial because a lot of the Nike runners were going to be using these in the Olympics that didn't happen because of Corona. And the other runners that weren't using these shoes were a little upset about it, saying that this gave them an unfair advantage. In the end, they ruled that as long as these are sold to the general public and it's not some prototype version, then runners can use those shoes inside of the Olympics. So it's sold to the public, I was able to get some. Well, after they failed breaking it with this, they made the Alpha Fly, and this is the one that broke it. And you can see a little bit of a difference. In the back, it still has this funky little aerodynamic pointy thing that looks like it should have like a knife on it that's gonna stab somebody. But um, on the front, you can see an air zoom pocket on here. These are so tight, like I can barely move them. We're going to explore the inside of this shoe and see what the deal is. Like, what does the carbon fiber plate look like? Is there anything else inside of this shoe that makes it amazing? And then the thing that I wanna know is how well would this work on an average runner, like a regular everyday person that you see jogging on the street, not somebody that's entering the Boston Marathon and finishing in the top 10. In order to do a real world test of this shoe, we need a runner. So I got my uh, cameraman here today. It's not really my cameraman. We got Zach from Jerry Rig Everything. If you haven't noticed, this guy has some muscles. <laughs> and as part of that, how often do you run? I try to run every day a little bit. Um, a long time ago, like six or seven years ago, I ran a couple marathons, but I am not in marathon shape right now. But I am a runner, kind of. Two weeks ago, Zach ran, what was it, three miles? Exactly three miles in 24 minutes and 24 seconds. How does that compare to your usual time? That was like me pushing myself to the limit. In regular shoes, Adidas Boost 2. These guys. These guys. The Ultra Boost. The Ultra two. Boost. Yeah. And so now, if I run the same route in these shoes, pushing myself the same way, if I run faster, that means these shoes would give me the advantage, right? I feel like it's a fair test. It's in the morning, it's early, it's when he ran. He's gonna run the same route that he ran last time. I'm gonna be there at the beginning and at the end. How do you track your runs? Just on my phone, just the app. You just carry your phone in your pocket? Well, I carried my hand because the, just like this. You just hold that the whole time? Whole time. He just holds his phone. <laughs> you already looked faster. Just by putting that on, you look faster on that one foot. The aerodynamics. Dang. They feel incredibly bouncy. Like, it's hard to describe. Like, I'm actually bouncier than a bouncy ball. <laughs> <laughs> like you're walking on bouncy balls? <laughs> Even more than that. You know those giant exercise balls? Mm -hmm. Like the bounciness of those is now on my feet. What in the world? I've never worn shoes this bouncy before. Dude, this is gonna be weird. I can't even like, I feel like my legs wanna go like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, this is gonna be a weird test. You look so fast. Those shorts couldn't have been any more perfect. So basically the guy broke the two hour marathon. You wanna break the 24 minute Three mile. Three mile. Is that, what you're, is that what you're thinking? Like yeah. 25 seconds less or something like that? Yep. That okay. would be, that's my goal. We'll see what happens. Um, last time I did push myself pretty hard though, so we'll, we'll see. What's the song choice today? Um, there's a, maybe we shouldn't talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
ready when you are. Meet you back at the finish line. All I have to do is drive my car. Right? <laughs> Hopefully I'll see you in less than 24 minutes. Okay. Jump for cars. See you, see you buddy. Oh, he already looks like he's bouncing well. I'm excited to get Zach's thoughts, whether he breaks it or not. Um, he'll have some good insights. Let's go track Zach down and then see him at the finish line. Because there's a carbon fiber plate, which should help you get propelled on every step and go a little faster, kind of like a spring. Zach is on the home stretch right now. I am at mile three. I see him at the top of this hill. He's just gotta come down the hill and come finish. So I'm excited to see the numbers. I didn't track it on my phone. He's pushing it pretty good for a big man, 205 pounds. And this guy's got a lot of muscle. Let's see how tired he is. We might need to give him a break to chill for a second. Here he comes. Is that three miles? Finish. Check that. You broke your new record seven minute, four second mile. That's insane. <laughs> That's like, take my record of 24 minutes, right? Yeah. And slash three minutes off. What? That's crazy. I did it instead of 24, 24, I did it in 21, 19. Dude, that's a lot of time. Yeah, that's insane. And you feel like a lot of it has to do with the shoes or you're just pushing it out here? Oh, 100% the shoes. Like, before we started making this video, my inch spiel at the end was gonna be like, it doesn't matter what equipment you have, you can just run in whatever and still be great. But these are, <laughs> these are an unfair improvement over normal running shoes. You said earlier it felt like you were on bouncy. I'll let you catch your breath for a second, dude. I'm good now. <laughs> I'd go for another three. <laughs> I felt like I wasn't using as much effort as before. And, you know, I weigh a lot, and so my right knee usually hurts while I'm running. But this time around, nothing. Dang. Like, there's so much cushion in these shoes, and like, it's crazy. But, one negative thing, mm -hmm. since I weigh a lot, I go through shoes fast and the soles of these shoes are not like rubber, they're like foam. There's quite a bit of wear right there. Like Already. Look at the front right there. It's already losing some of its tread just from a three mile run. Yeah, these shoes aren't gonna last very long. Yeah. I love them though, great shoes. <laughs> okay, again, I don't think I've said this yet, but this is not a sponsored video. <laughs> I spent like $300 on these shoes. You know Zach, he's going to be completely honest with his opinion. If he would have done worse or they would have hurt him, he would have said it. So we didn't just shave 24 seconds off of his time. We shaved minutes off of just a three minute mile. Just a three mile run and he shaved minutes off of his time. The shoes definitely are working. Thank you, Zach, for helping us with this part of the video. Let's get these back to our studio, cut them in half, see what's inside of them, and uh, let Lincoln guess what the results are. I'm curious to see if he can even get close to guessing how much faster Zach run. Zach run? Zach ran, I'm smart. We are back at the studio with Mr. Nike himself, Lincoln Markham. Look at that Nike shirt. A lot of people have asked, do we purposefully block out the Nike logo no, I mean, for YouTube there's, videos? There's another Nike swoosh right below it. This no, is the way it's it came, right? That I like. So these are the shoes. Lincoln has seen them a little bit. Yeah, um, Lincoln very bright. It. And they look kind of beat up. Zach has tested these. And they're very light. These are the lightest shoes so that I've light. ever held. Leslie, do you know the results of Zach's run? I don't. Okay, come here. You do it. I'm wearing matching green. Zach ran three miles as hard as he could in 24 minutes. Two weeks later, we gave him these shoes. He ran three miles, same route. Yes. And um, how fast do you think he ran it in these shoes? 21 minutes. Exactly, 21 minutes. Was it really? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, it's like 21 something. It's like 21 minutes. Yeah, I know, but it's still. What? Had to approach you. You didn't tell, tell me, honestly. I just did my math going, okay, that's eight miles a minute. Zach has to be faster than that in general. Zach. No, I that think. was his fast time. No, no, no. I th feel like you're faster than that. He's that's, not. Nope, he the is. The shoes are a minute faster. No, yeah. I think that Zach had the potential to run faster too. 
try it again. I think you can do better. Oh, 100% the shoes. That was like me pushing myself to the limit. Zach and I were really impressed with the shoe and that it could improve his time by a minute that, yeah, for an average runner. That's impressive. Leslie is not impressed with the shoe and she, she says Zach says needs to step it up. Zach has more physical capabilities. You gotta step it up, Zach. You're faster than that. We gotta follow the data. The data doesn't lie. Look at these shoes. Try squeezing them. It's hard. It's yeah. hard. That's what helps propel you. Like, isn't that crazy? You can close. barely bend them in half. Where you take most shoes, and yeah, the toe bends easily. Where with this one, if you can get an wow. extra inch or two inches on every single stride without any additional physical body effort, well, yeah, you're going to arrive at your destination faster. It's just simple math, right? Arriving so, at your destination. Yes, math. I had see through it too. So that These might shoes. make it lighter. Who Ugh. knows? Got it. Got it. Yes. When you have a running shoe, you want it to be incredibly light. Well, the top portion is a place of a shoe where people add a lot of weight, a lot of fabric and cloth that doesn't need to be there. This is so light. There's nothing to it except for the back where it has a little cushion right there for your foot so that it doesn't get as um, yeah. maybe blisters and stuff right there. I think this might be the carbon fiber plate yeah. right there that we're looking at. It has the two air zoom pockets that are on it. Do you want to poke it? Should we poke it and see if it makes a noise? Do you yeah. think it'll pop? I think so. Here we go. It's got. Yeah! Made a little hissing noise. Now let's see how it looks. Oh. Wow. They gotta make that super strong though, because if Dang. that pops like during your race. So Look here's that. the inside of your zoom pocket. <laughs> it basically looks like Whoa, it's really a fuzzy. tennis ball. <laughs> yeah. Or like a minky blanket, if you've ever felt one of those. It's incredibly a soft. Bit, yeah. I was thinking that maybe it had some sort of springing effect. And there's gotta be some science behind this, but yeah. really it's just some weird fabric so that's confusing. in there. My knife was a lot sharper before I started this project today. It's like I'm filleting a fish right now. Hey. There's the foam. Yeah. And then this says Nike fly plate. Yeah, it's basically the same material, just. Oh! Oh! Wow! Look at that! Well, you can break the carbon fiber plate with your bare hands. Muscles. <laughs> okay. Do you think that it was because part of this was off? I think it's because of my muscles. That is odd that it just fell off. Oh, I'm so strong. Look at that. Look at that shoe. Wow. That is so interesting. Carbon fiber, yeah. it's very big, it's very very wide right here where you land, and then it does get thinner on the back, which makes sense. Well, maybe it doesn't make sense, I don't know. I'm no engineer, but it's like a spring. It really is like a spring that when you step, this is, this is making you just fly yeah. an extra inch or two. I am a believer in the Nike Alpha Fly shoe. There's also the Vapor Fly that we gave to Zach. Those have similar technology. They're also speed improvement shoes, so. Um, good job, Nike. It's getting yeah. into the running game and kicking some butt in it. It's cool. Let me know what you guys think. Would you buy these shoes for a race? Is it worth it for a weekend warrior runner? And do you think I can break this with all the foam on it? No. Oh, it sounded like it wanted to, right? Wow. Muscles. Whoa! Yeah! No wow! Way. Okay. Well, you can. <laughs> you can break it. That one broke easily, too. Wow. $75, but don't bend your shoe. Don't bend your shoe. <laughs> There's gotta be a weight limit. Like if you weigh like 300 pounds, you're gonna run a marathon in this thing, it's just gonna snap in the middle just like that. I mean, whose foot does this though? When you're running? Yes. Maybe if this it's This is how enough. my foot looks when I run? Maybe not. Maybe not. <laughs> it's like third leg. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't talk about music. <laughs> <laughs> Taylor Swift. Uh, Taylor, Taylor Swift. Swift. <laughs> Taylor Swift. Um, what's that song she always sings? If I was the man, then I'd be the man. Does she even sing that one? Yeah, she sings a song about the man. <laughs> Just techno beats from Germany. Yeah. From the head Germany <laughs> club. <laughs> and yeah, I'm driving the car that I sold my Tesla to him for. 
I missed that Model X. And I'm just waiting for Tesla to come out with the new battery pack so I can get a new car, a new Tesla with more range. Didn't I give you that shirt? Yeah, like the, how many years ago? Like a few, like years, a few ago? years ago, I just thought it was funny because you hated <laughs> dongles. <laughs> Mr. Dongle Town over here. Schools. Who buys 175 oranges? Yeah, and eats 27% of them. Yeah.